In the previous lecture, I gave you the list of x t x omega pairs and using that list, we will solve one question in this lecture. You can see the cutout on your screen and the cutout is having our question and the question is taken from I E S 2002 electronics and telecommunication paper and in this question we are having list 1 and list 2 and we need to match list 1 with list 2 you can see in list 1 we are having type of signal this means we are having xt and in list 2 we are having property of Fourier transform this means we are having property of x omega so let's match a b c d with 1 2 3 and 4 signal a is real and even symmetric so signal a is real and the type of symmetry is even this means the signal is even in nature and we know when the signal that means xt is real and even the corresponding Fourier transform is also real and even so we are having second type of Fourier transform real as well as even so a will match to 2 signal b is real and odd symmetric so xt is real and odd and we know when xt is real and odd the corresponding Fourier transform is imaginary and odd so you can see the fourth type of Fourier transform is imaginary and odd so b will match to 4 signal c is imaginary and even imaginary and even and we know when xt is imaginary and even the Fourier transform is also imaginary and even so first type is imaginary and even so c will match to 1 and with this we can say that d will match to 3 d will match to 3 but still we will check whether it is correct or not signal d is imaginary and odd imaginary and odd and we know when xt is imaginary and odd the Fourier transform is real and odd and you can see the third type of Fourier transform is real and odd so d will match to 3 and you can see option b is the correct option 2 4 1 3 2 4 1 3 so in this way you can easily obtain the answer if you know the x t x omega pairs and after solving this question there is one homework problem for you in this homework problem i have taken the question from i e s 2004 electronics and telecommunication paper and in this question again we are having list 1 and list 2 list 1 is having the time domain property this means the property of time domain signal xt and list 2 is having the frequency domain property this means it is having the property of Fourier transform x omega so again using the xt x omega pairs you need to match a b c d with 1 2 3 and 4 so once you have your answer don't forget to post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one